Hello, yogis. Welcome to your practice. Our practice, the focus for the month of March is movement. So we're going to add some movement to the practice and you decide how much of that movement you want to engage in. There are going to be opportunities for you to pause and to hold maybe while I'm suggesting movement in certain asanas. I'll allow you to decide. So please take care of yourself as you move throughout the practice. And um, the intention behind movement is tied to into the Ayurvedic uh, principles that support yoga. It's the medicine system behind um, the yoga practice. They really tie well together. And in, in this time of year, in spring, we like to, we, we need to move uh, elements of our bodies to move and purge some of the um, the, the, the coolness of winter to prepare for spring, to prepare for summer. So that's why the movement focus is the focus for this time of year. So in a comfortable seat, allow your eyes to rest closed. We're going to take a few more moments here in a seated meditation to give us all the opportunity to decompress, to really experience the breath, especially the exhales, and to settle in, bringing that mind, body, and spirit together. Allow your shoulders to stack above your hips. Feel the knees heavy as they release to the earth. Feel the strength of the back supporting the length of the spine, traveling up through the base of the skull. And then feel a gentle tuck of the chin while you lift the chest, broaden the collarbones, and bring the shoulder blades down the back. Draw a deep in breath here. And soften the exhale out through the nose. Feel the belly expand in the very root of the belly as the breath comes in. Feel the breath move wide into the space of the side body and allow the breath's fullness to take up the whole center of yourself. Unhinge your jaw by wiggling it from side to side. Smooth out the brow. Feel tension release from the temples. Drawing in deep in breath here. Open your mouth, release softly. Let's do that two more times. In breath. Exhale, release. And again. Exhale. Bring your palms to heart center. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Something that will support you in these next moments on your mat, but something also that you can carry with you beyond the mat. It can be as simple and beautiful as follow the breath or stay connected to the breath. Whatever supports you today in this moment and in your life. And then release the hands, allow the eyes to open. Let's do a few shoulder shrugs here. Inhale, shoulders forward, up. Exhale, back and down. Again, inhale, forward, up. Exhale, back and down. Let's do a couple more rounds. Inhale. 
lift, exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together as they come back and down one more just like that. And exhale to release. We're going to switch directions. Inhale back up. Exhale forward and down. Three more just like this. Smooth breath, smooth movement of the body. Sometimes we hold a little bit extra tension in our head, neck, and shoulders. So it's really important to give that area attention. Good, and then soften to release. We're going to move a little bit into some side body opening here while we're still seated. So ground your right hand onto the earth. Soften your elbow down. Bring that left shoulder up, back, and down, really opening the chest and the heart. And then extend with that left arm up and over. Soften the inner shoulder away from the ear and soften that right elbow towards the ground. Now to work deeper into that left side body, press into the heel of the right hand and reach that left hip down as you lengthen the entire side body. The gaze can be straight ahead. If it makes more sense and you'd like some grounding, you can bring the gaze down towards your right elbow. Or maybe you're looking for some uplifting energy, in which case you can extend the gaze up towards that lifted hand. Another deep in-breath here. Pressing into the heel of that hand, inhale to come up through center. Let's bring the arms up to face each other, inner shoulders drop down. Bring that right hand behind, get nice and long, reach those left fingertips up, draw the belly in, exhale, easy twist over to the right. Soften both shoulders back and down. Breathe fully into the heart, keeping length at the back of the neck. Be aware of how you hold your head, not only on the mat, but off the mat. The lives that we lead connected to our devices often promote unhealthy alignment for our neck. So to counter that, we have wonderful practices like yoga to work through it, to be, bring our awareness to it. Inhale, arms reach up through center, inner shoulders soften, and then exhale, release the hands. Let's switch the cross of the legs. Inhale, arms reach up, inner shoulders back down, nice long neck. Soften the left hand down, reach that right arm up and over. So again, reaching those left ribs forward, opening up the heart, and deciding where your head faces, depending on how your neck and how your shoulders are feeling. Now, if reaching your arms up overhead at all during our practice today gives you any discomfort, you always have the option to drop that arm down and move into a half bind that continues the shoulder opening, but it takes some of that pressure and tension out of that shoulder with that arm lifted. So keep that in mind if you're dealing with any sensations of pain in that shoulder. Press down into the grounded hand to root that right hip down, reaching up and out through your ring finger of the right hand. Root down to come back up, extend the arms, palms face each other. Keep the right arm lifted, bring the left hand behind, get nice and long in the spine, creating as much space as you can. And then exhale, right hand comes to the left knee. Both shoulders move back and down, belly draws in. Nice deep in breath here. Exhale, soften. Think about that in-breath going wide into the sides of the waist. Take another couple rounds of breath here. Staying completely connected to the breath. Good, one more in-breath. And let's reach those arms back up through to center. Inner shoulders soften, then flip the palms forward and reach forward into a fold. Extend long through the fingertips. The hands can be grounded or you can claw at the fingers depending how you wanna activate this experience. Keep the sitting bones rooted. Keep the heart reaching forward. Think a little bit of an up dog in the chest. Nice lengthen out of the pelvis and then exhale, maybe crawling yourself a little bit further forward. 
Now, if your knees are up high because your hips are feeling a little tight, that's okay. Instead of reaching forward with your hands, go ahead and place your fingertips behind you and then hinge forward at the hips, reaching the heart forward. Keeping that sensation aware, keeping that, that intention clear and taking good care of the body. Good, inhale back up through to center. And from here, we're gonna come onto our backs. So make your way down onto your back. Bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Feel the shoulder blades settle. Knees are bent. Hands can reach to the side. Pausing here for a moment. Just take this moment in here. Feel the body settle. Feel the shoulders settle, feel the back of the hips settle, feel the connection to the earth with the soles of the feet and the back body. Now interlace your fingers behind your head, lift your head, neck and shoulders up off the earth. Elbows can be a little bit closer in or for more challenge, bring them out to the side. Allow the knees to lift, flex through the feet or activate the feet if pointing feels better than point or somewhere in between. Nice deep in-breath here, exhale. On your next inhale, we're gonna lengthen both feet forward, keeping head, neck, and shoulders lifted in a modified half boat. And then exhale, head, neck, and shoulders stay lifted, bring the knees above the hips. Good, inhale, press out through the arches. Exhale, draw the knees above the hips. Moving with the breath, inhale, you can always lower the feet further encouraging intensity, or maybe lifting them up a little bit higher to create some ease for the back. Again, listen to the body moving with the breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. We'll do a couple more rounds like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in, firing up the core. Inhale, lengthen, reaching out through the arches of the feet. Exhale, bring it back in. Go ahead and lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Lower the soles of the feet. Draw the right knee into the chest, lengthen the left heel forward. Now begin rocking that right knee from side to side. And then making circles with that knee, placing the right hand on the kneecap, moving in the direction of clockwise. And then shifting directions. And then transitioning into half happy baby here, bringing the right sole of the foot to face the earth, the right knee comes wide. And the hand can clasp to the outer edge of the foot or the shin or behind the thigh. Nice deep in breath here. And then exhale, lower the sole of the right foot down, bring the sole of the left foot back down. Right leg lengthens, left knee comes in. Draw the left knee into the chest, rock it from side to side. And then left hand, left knee, start making, this time we'll start counterclockwise. A little bit more of an external focus to start on each side. And then switching directions clockwise. Lubricating the hip joint, preparing for our flow. And then drawing both knees back into the chest. Begin rocking forward and back. And then making your way up to tabletop. Placing the palms beneath the shoulders. Fingers spread wide. And I like to encourage splaying the hands out a little bit so that we can 
bring those index fingers or even the space between thumb and index to point towards the front of the mat. What this does is this helps to facilitate broadening of the shoulders. So if there's any shoulder tightness, this creates a little bit more space, allows a little bit more mobility and ease as well. Now in neutral table, pausing here, in breath, and then exhale, round the back. Tuck the chin, look between the thighs. Inhale, lifts the heart, keep pressing into the earth with the hands, allow the arms to be straight and strong as you move with the breath. Let's take a few more rounds of breath here. And then coming back to neutral, step the hands one hand distance forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. First downward facing dog of our practice. So check in with your alignment, look back between your feet, see that your heels are aligned behind your second and third toe. Soften your knees as much as you need to. Press into the heels of the hands and the inner hands to lift those hips up as the chest reaches back. Walk it out if you like, bending one knee deep and then the other. And then inhale forward to plank pose, top of a push-up, pushing the earth away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank pose, heart reaches forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, inhale forward to plank, lower the knees to the mat. Squeeze your elbows in, exhale, lower down, come all the way onto your belly. Palms stay next to the ribs, inhale, cobra pose, elbows squeeze in, and exhale, lower. Make your way back to downward facing dog. And then exhale, lower to your knees with your toes tucked, come back into child's pose, keeping the arms extended. Inhale forward, modified chaturanga from the knees. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, back into child's. Inhale forward, modified chaturanga or plank. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hips come back. Let's do that two more times. Inhale forward, hips are lifted, lower down. Coming back up, exhale, child. Last one for right now. Lower down, press it back up, exhale, child. Go ahead and walk your hands back towards your knees. Lower your heels to the earth. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Root to rise, arms come up, palms touch. Exhale, palms in front of the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms in front of you right here. Lower the knees back down. Now step the hands forward, lower down, modified chaturanga. Untuck the toes, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, lower the left knee down. Inhale, right into low lunge. Soften the inner shoulders. Press into the heel of the right foot. Feel that right hip reach back as the left hip squares forward. Thighs hug in towards each other. Sternum lifts up. In breath here. 
We're going to lower the hands to the inside of the right foot and pivot on the back knee. So if you need something to support that knee, take a moment to double up your mat or add a blanket. And then moving into this lower lunge version of warrior two, extend your arms out to a T. Soften the shoulders. And you can make this as deep or not deep as you like. This is a great hip opener and it's very grounding. Another moment or two here, connect to the breath. And then left hand travels down to the back of the leg, to the earth or to a block. Reach that right arm up for our version of joyful warrior. Keep sinking the hips forward. Draw the inner thighs toward each other. Pull the belly in. Come back up through to center. We're going to straighten that front leg. So I need to he heal out a little bit so that my left hip stays above my left knee. Extend the arms once again. Reach with the fingertips and moving into that modified gateway pose. Or it looks like a shorter trikonasana triangle. Again, decide where you want your head to face down towards the earth, maybe forward or up towards the lifted hand. Take up as much space as you'd like here, reaching through the fingertips. One more in-breath. Good, exhale, come back through center, bring that right knee to meet the left, and then come back into downward facing dog. From dog, inhale forward to plank pose. Push with the toes, reach with the heart, either lower the knees or come all the way down to the earth through chaturanga. Shoulder heads back and down, heart lifts, inhale, cobra pose, belly draws in, strong core. Exhale, making your way back to downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up, soften the shoulders. Feel the thighs hugging towards each other. Lift from the base of the skull. Soften the jaw, soften the brow. Commit to your breath. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hands to the inside of the left foot. Pivot on that back knee. Take a moment to set your alignment or set your support. Inhale, extend the arms. Pausing here, finding that connection, softening the gaze, bringing the intention back to the mat. One more in breath like this, and then exhale. Inhale, left arm reaches, right fingertips down. Opening up a little bit into that side body. Great time of year, springtime, to flush the lymphatic system. Inhale here. Exhale, core draws in as you extend the arms, then straighten that left leg. Stack right hip above right knee. Fingers extend, reach with the left fingertips. Inhale, right arm lifts. Soften your left shoulder down. One more in breath here. Belly draws in, come back up through to center. Bring the left knee to meet the right. Let's go ahead and make our way back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank pose. Knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's walk our feet to the top of the mat. 
Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, arms come up. Exhale, palms to heart. So one of the things that we're going to do here now is working with the, um, the movement, getting some of that energy moving out of the body, uh, that kapha energy, that, that, that stagnant energy. So bringing your feet hip width apart, bring the arms out to the side. And we're going to start by swinging from side to side and allowing the arms to meet the body. So it's not really a hitting of the arms. It's allowing the momentum of the movement to have the action here. Good. Another round of breath here or two. And then come back to center. Now stepping that right foot forward, setting yourself in a, a stable stance. Actually, I'm going to step the left foot forward. Sorry. Go ahead and step the left foot forward, right foot back, left hand grounds on that left thigh. And we're going to do the same with the arms. We're going to allow that movement to happen. We add this movement and we're working with the lymphatic system. We're really able to to access the areas of the body that benefit from this kind of activity, this kind of blood movement, the flushing, the natural care of our bodies. All right, and we'll switch to the other side. So go ahead and step the right foot forward, step the left foot back, and then the left side. Another moment or two here. Feel how it feels in the body as the weight of the arm reaches into the shoulder through movement. Good. And then stopping here, coming back to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step it back to plank pose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Belly in, shoulders back. Belly back into downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here. Then lower the knees to the mat, keep the toes tucked, bring the hips back to the heels. So in this next round of Chaturanga Childs, you're welcome to work with the version that we were we started with, with the knees down as you flow. You can mix it up as well, or you can spring from Chaturanga, excuse me, from Childs to Chaturanga. So following the breath. Hips back and down, knees rooted for now. Maybe the knees stay down. On your next inhale, look between your hands. Make your way to Chaturanga, either supported or straight leg. Press up, come back, knees down, hips back. We'll do that three more times. Inhale and exhale, come back. Inhale and exhale, come back. Inhale and exhale. We'll do one more for fun. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and untuck your toes. Lower your hips back to your heels. Rest your forehead. Your arms can stay extended forward or they can wrap around the body. Yogi's choice. One more in-breath here. As you exhale, make your way back to downward facing dog. Reach that right leg up and back. Step the right foot forward, setting the foundation for warrior two. Extend through the fingertips. 
Draw right heel towards left arch. Feel right thigh bone reach back into the hip socket. Slightly roll that left thigh forward. Nice deep in breath. And exhale. Inhale, right arm rises. Joyful warrior. Keeping that right knee bent nice and deep. And exhale, extended side angle. Pausing here. And you can stay here. Hand can come to the earth, a block, or forearm to the thigh. We're going to reach with our left fingertips forward. This is optional. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, left arm lifts up. Exhale, forward, down. A couple more rotations. Keep pressing into that right forearm. Keep length in both sides of the waist. Good, one more full round. Now reach that left arm up and over. Bicep next to the ear. And then press into that right leg to straighten it. Reach that left arm up, moving right into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Stabilize through the soles of the feet, pressing into the ball mound of that right big toe. Feel the left side of the waist softening to create length on the right side of the waist. Spiral that pinky finger upward, drop the upper arm bone into the shoulder socket. One more in breath here. And then exhale, release the hands to frame the foot. Step it back to plank. Modified chaturanga or full chaturanga. Then come back up, push up, knees down, hips back, toes stay tucked. We'll do one more. Chaturanga, push up, knees down, hips back. Come back into downward facing dog. Left leg rises on the in-breath. Step the left foot forward. Heel to arch alignment. Open it up. Warrior two. Left hip reaches back. Right hip rolls forward. Allow the arms to extend. Soften the face. Then inhale. Joyful warrior. Nice big stretch on that left side body. Exhale, extended side angle. We'll add the movement here. This is optional. Check in with your shoulder. Right hand forward, down. Inhale, lift and extend. Exhale, moving with the breath. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open. Good, one more rotation. And then meet with that right bicep next to the ear. Pausing here. Maybe lowering that lunge a little bit, rooting into the back side of the foot, that right foot. And then pressing into that left heel to straighten the leg. Reach the right fingertips up. Spiral that pinky in. Open the left ribs towards the sky. Bring that left shoulder back and down. The side where you have the gaze fall down, neutral, up. One more in breath here. And then exhale, release the hands to frame the foot. Go ahead and step it back to plank pose. Knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Come back into the plank pose or modified, lower the knees, pull the hips back. Child's pose with toes tucked. We'll do one more, inhale, chaturanga. Straighten back to plank, knees down, hips down, uncheck the toes, lower the hips to the heels. Go ahead and make your way back to downward facing dog. 
and then walk yourself to the top of the mat. Rooting into the soles of the feet, heart lifts. Now for this, you might choose to have um, blocks available to you. It's really up to you. We're gonna be working through um, standing splits here. So you may or may not want it, or you may want it as we transition into lunge. So decide for yourself what's gonna make the most sense. You can always add them or remove them. Go ahead and root into the soles of the feet. First, we're gonna start with a balance. Pressing into the sole of the right foot, shift the weight to the right. Slowly lift that left leg up, keeping the shoulders above the hips, keeping the pelvis neutral. The tail lengthens down and the belly draws in. Bringing the sole of the left foot to the inner thigh, inner calf, or kickstand at the ankle. Palms come to heart. We're going to follow the breath here for stability and for balance and connecting the two. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back through center. One more, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back through center. Raise that left knee back up, activate the left foot. Soften through the right knee as you begin to hinge back, reaching that left leg back and slowly release the hands to the earth. Moving into standing splits, lifting the leg only as high as feels comfortable and it can be internal or external rotation. Inhale, lift halfway. Right foot is grounded, left leg is lifted. Now soften the right knee, land the back foot down into crescent. Reach the arms up on the in-breath. And then exhale, we're going to come right back into standing splits, folding down. You can keep the hands grounded. You can wrap the hands around the standing leg. Yogi's choice. In-breath, lift the heart, soften the right knee. You can use the earth to find that stability before you rise up. Hands can ground, arms reach up, crescent. Last one here, standing splits. Left leg rises, forehead grounds towards the shin. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, left foot back right into crescent, arms reach up here. From here, right hand, right hip, left elbow crosses, add the twist. Alternatively, you can place the left hand on the earth and reach the right arm up. Activate that back leg, squeeze the thighs in, keep reaching that right hip back. Feel the shoulder blades soften down the back. One more in breath here. Exhale, release the hands, step it back to dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Lower the knees to the mat, pull the hips back to the heels. We'll do two more in between sides here of the child chaturanga flow. Knees can stay down or knees can lift. Inhale, chaturanga. Press up, exhale, child's. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, child's. Untuck the toes, lower the hips to the heels, soften the face and the arms to the floor. Make your way back to downward facing dog. And then walking yourself to the top of the mat. Moving on to the second side. Grounding through the sole of the left foot. Find alignment in Tadasana, shoulders above hips, belly engaged, pressing the earth away with the left foot. Slowly begin to draw that right knee up. Hands to hips or palms at heart. Wiggle the left toes loose. And then as you're ready, bring the sole of the foot to the inner thigh, the inner shin, or kickstand to the earth. Bring palms to heart. 
Connect with the breath. And then moving with the breath, if you'd like. Inhale, palms together, arms reach up and separate. Exhale, palms together, back to heart. Inhale, reach, open. Exhale, pull all that good energy back in to you. Inhale, to share, be receptive and open. Exhale, receive. One more. Bring the hands back to the hips. Bring that right knee forward. Stay active in that left foot, pressing down. Slowly begin to reach that right leg back. Soften the left knee. Bring the fingertips to the blocks or the earth. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Standing splits. Lift only as high as feels comfortable. Working with the sensations of the body, really listening to the needs of the body. Inhale, lift halfway. Soften the left knee, reach the right foot back. Inhale, crescent. Now, alternatively, you could keep your hands on the earth for a straight leg lunge. Step it forward, right leg lifts, hinge forward. Good, step it back, arms reach up. One more round. Send that weight forward, nice, strong left leg, right leg lifts. And then step it back, nice and stable. Arms reach up, adding the twist. Right elbow crosses, left hip reaches back, right leg is strong. Ground through the ball mound of the right big toe. Press into the inner and outer heel of the left foot. Spread the toes wide. In breath here. Exhale, hands come down, step it back to dog. Optional vinyasa here. Inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, slowly make your way to the top of the mat. Step, hop, walk. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, arms come up. Exhale, palms to heart. Inhale, reach the arms up, lower the hips. Ukatasana, chair pose. And settle those hips back, float the toes. Draw the belly in. Exhale, lift the hips and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step or float to Chaturanga, yogi's choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Lower the left foot down. Point the left toes towards the front left corner of the mat and step the right foot forward. Setting your foundation for warrior one. Inhale, arms reach up. Soften the inner shoulders. Square that right hip back. Good, one more in breath here. Then press into that right heel to straighten the right leg. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Hug those thighs in. Try to flatten out the sacrum. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Holding it here, step your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Exhale, fold. Now you could use blocks here if you'd like to frame that foot. Inhale, lift halfway. Both hands are on the outside of that right foot. Exhale, fold. Keep reaching that right thigh bone back. Inhale, left hand grounds. Right hand comes to right hip crease. Reaching it back. Hug the thighs in. Breath is key here. 
as you wish, maybe extending the right arm up, a revolved triangle. Now, if the pelvis or the shoulders are feeling any tension or strain that does not feel good, you can always bring your hand to the sacrum. You can keep both hands grounded. Yogi's choice here, nice deep in breath. And then exhale, release the hands to frame that front foot, step it back to plank pose. Lower the knees to the mat, pull the hips back to the heels. And you can stay here, or you can move through two rounds of child chaturanga. Inhale forward, press up, exhale, back and down. Inhale forward, exhale, back and down. Good, pausing here. And then reaching into downward facing dog. Right foot down, left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, arms come up, shoulders soften, thighs hug in, belly draws in. And one more in breath here. Press into the left heel to straighten the leg. Exhale, fold. Adjust the feet as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, up dog that chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. A few more rounds, moving with the breath. The next time you lift, go ahead and walk your hands to the outside of that left foot. Adjust the feet as you need to. Sometimes shortening the stride really makes a difference in the ease and the access and the openness. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, left hip uh, sways back, way get back. Now bring the right hand to the block to the outside or maybe the inside of that front foot, bring the left thumb into the hip crease, open the heart, and then if you'd like, extend the left arm, really pressing into the soles of the feet, strong legs, strong thighs. Another in-breath here, and then exhale, soften your left knee, step it back, downward facing dog. Staying in dog, coming to child, or straight forward vinyasa, inhale forward to plank, exhale, inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Nice deep in breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee forward, setting up for pigeon pose. Now you can always take pigeon on your back. It's that thread the needle version. I can show you here in a moment. Fingertips ground, thighs hug in, heart reaches up. Good, and then exhale, you can stay uplifted or come on down to whatever height feels supportive. So resting forehead on a block can feel nice or resting your forehead on stacked palms. Try to ground that third eye. If you'd like to come to your back for an, a variation, cross that right ankle on top of the left thigh. Bring the hands behind the left thigh or shin and press the right knee away. Keep that right foot flexing. Feel the opening in the outer hip and the glutes. Another moment or two here. Stay connected to the breath. A 
and then slowly walk the hands back up. And we're gonna reach our weight over to the right side. So if you have a prop, take that out. Bring the left foot to the outside of the right thigh and set it on the, on the ground. Now, maybe sitting in with both knees bent doesn't feel comfortable or accessible. Straightening out that bottom leg, maybe even raising the hips up can bring some ease. Let's bring that left hand behind, sit up nice and tall. And sometimes it helps to, to hinge back to get that leg around and then bring yourself forward. So adjust to suit your body. Inhale, right arm lifts, nice long spine. Exhale, hook or wrap that arm. Soften both shoulders down. Another round of breath here. Good, exhale to unwind. Go ahead and bend that right knee if it's straight. Bring the left foot back and behind. Plant the palms, make your way back to downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa, inhale forward. Exhale, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Back to downward facing dog. Left leg rises. Step the left knee forward right into pigeon, straighten out that back leg, toes point straight back, fingertips come in, inhale, lift the heart, squeeze those inner thighs together, press the outer edge of that left foot down, and staying lifted if this supports you and this feels good right now, sometimes I prefer this, or if you'd like to come down, lowering down. Again, taking the option on the back is available as well. And make an effort if you are lowering to ground that third eye. It's such a great practice to ground the space between the eyebrows. It tells the, the nervous system to, to calm, to bring coolness, to bring quiet. So try it out. Maybe if you are feeling some tension or some anxiety during the course of your day, just take a moment or few to lower your forehead to stacked palms. Take about a minute's worth of breath. Just another moment here. Then walking the hands back up, shifting the weight to the left hip, reach that right leg all the way around and setting up for your twist. Again, remembering you can lengthen that left leg. Bring that right hand behind, get nice and tall. Inhale, left arm lifts, and then exhale, hug or hook. Bring the right shoulder back and down. You can even bring the gaze back towards the right shoulder. Again, in twist, breathe wide, breathe full. One more in breath here. And then exhale to unwind. If that left leg is, is extended, go ahead and bend it. Bring that right leg around, make your way back to downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa, otherwise child and dog are available to you. Move through your flow, really open that heart in your back bend, firm those thighs, pulling it up and back, downward facing dog. Take a couple of rounds of cleansing breath here in through the nose. Open your mouth. Let's do one more. Good. 
Good, step that right foot forward. Go ahead and parallel those feet. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Let go of the head. Now here, you have some choices. You can bring your hands beneath your shoulders, have the arms in the shape of chaturanga. You can reach your pace fingers around your big toes, bend the elbows wide, continue to reach the crown of the head towards the earth. Make sure too that the hips are over the middle of the foot or closer towards the, the heels and the arch of the foot rather than behind the feet. Another arm option would be to bring your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers and open through the heart. Just be mindful about not locking into the elbows. You can use a strap, a t-shirt, something between your hands if needed. Release the hands to the earth. Inhale, lift halfway. Heel in, toe out. Walking your into a side lunge, bending your right knee, walking the hands to the right. Lower that right heel towards the earth. The heel can be lifted. Good. If you lower the heel down, maybe reach the arms up. Yogi's choice. You can play with the arm position here. Maybe palms at heart feel a little bit more nourishing for the soul right now. And then exhale. Hands come down. Skandasana. Side lunge to the left. Staying active in that right leg so the knee doesn't lock. Bring the hands to whatever position supports. Nice long spine. And one more in-breath here. Exhale, release the hands. Walk it back through center. Toes out, heels in. Bring the hands to the inner knees. Lower the hips. Rocking forward, left shoulder down towards center. Inhale up, exhale right shoulder down. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Good, one more each side. Left dips, inhale lift. Good, right dips, inhale lift. Parallel those feet, extend back into your wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, walk the hands towards the front of the mat, step it back to downward facing dog. And then lower to your knees, pull your hips back to your heels, come to rest in child's pose. If you haven't wrapped your arms yet, letting your shoulders soften, consider that. Fingertips reach back towards the toes. Shoulders release tension. And slowly walk the hands back to the knees. Come to seated. Bring the soles of the feet together. Preparing for Baddha Konasana. Now, if your knees are pretty high, you might want to come on to something, a block or a bolster or a folded blanket. You can also bring your feet a little bit further forward so that it's more of the shape of uh, like the butterfly pose in yin practice. Fingertips can come behind. Lift the heart forward, pressing the feet towards each other. Exhale, hinge and fold. Good, inhale to come back up, bring the knees together, separate the feet. Bring your hands to the earth behind you. And we're going to do a windshield wiper from a seated position. So allow the knees to drop right and then left, adding movement. Really working through the area of the hips.
couple more rounds. And then come back through to center, coming into a cross-legged position or any other seated position that you would like. We're going to move into some shoulder opening from seated. Go ahead and stretch your arms out wide. Bring the right elbow over the left for eagle. Elbows lift, shoulders drop down and back. Breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. Try to separate that space by resisting in between the palms, the forearms. Good, inhale, open the arms, bring the backs of the hands, fire behind you, and then left over right. Good, one more each side. Inhale, reach the arms back, heart open, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then right over left, elbows lift. Inhale to prepare, exhale, inhale, extend, backs of palms reach, left over right. Inhale, prepare, exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach the arms, and then bring the palms to prayer. Just take a moment here to connect to the intention that you set for your practice. And then make your way onto your back. So if you have a block, Make sure that it's nearby. And if you don't have a block, and if you have something you can fold up to be a little bit dense beneath the lower back, um, go ahead and, and bring that into your practice. It could even be a, a towel folded pretty tight. So if you don't have either of those available to you or you're choosing not to use it, that's fine. You'll still, you'll still get benefit from what we're going to be working on here. So to, to round out our practice on the floor here, soles of the feet on the mat, fingertips reaching forward. We're going to press into the heels to lift the hips into bridge pose. So we'll scoot the shoulders under just a little bit, not fully, because in a moment here, we're going to be moving with the breath. But on your next exhale, I want you to slowly lower down vertebrae at a time until the back of the pelvis finds rest. Then inhale, reach the arms up overhead, reach to the space behind you as the hips lift. And then exhale, slowly lower it all down, trying to find the balance. Palms rest down, back of pelvis hits the mat. Inhale, lift, heart lifts, hips lift, fingertips reach. Exhale, nice and slow, lowering it down. Few more rounds, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then if you do have a block, go ahead and bring your block beneath your pelvis. I'd recommend the lowest height or the second height. So it really depends on how you're feeling. And of course, make any adjustments that you need to. So once we have the pelvis on the block, we want to make sure that the tailbone is not on the block. It's just hanging off the block, if you will. So take a moment here to settle. And if you don't have a block, take a moment here to settle with the soles of feet on the earth and the back body grounded. Also very nourishing and soothing to the back body. 
lining for the spine. We're going to draw that right knee into the chest. And I already can tell I want to adjust my block, so make any adjustments that you need to. And start to crawl that left heel forward. Now, maybe it doesn't want to extend all the way. The leg wants to stay bent. What we're doing here is we're drawing that right knee in, and it can come a little bit wide to open up the front of that left thigh. So working into the hip flexors, into the psoas. And you can point and flex your right foot. Draw circles in both directions. And then if you like, you can interlace your fingers, basket weave behind the right thigh as you reach the right leg up. I also love this for the passive back bending that happens here. Really nice for the spine. Draw that right knee back in. Slowly lower the sole of the left foot to the earth and then the right foot to the earth. Pause here. And then draw your left knee into the chest. Slowly walk your right foot forward. Maybe it's extending. Stay active with your right foot and then point and flex. Draw circles with that left foot. Going in both directions. And then if you'd like, extend that left leg, basket weave the hands behind the left thigh. A little push pull here, pushing into the hands, by the hands pull the leg, feeling that left hip ground, the thigh bone roots into the socket. And then soften that left knee back in, bring the sole of the right foot to the earth, lower the left foot down. Pause here. So either supported bridge pose, or if you aren't using a prop, the back of the pelvis is resting on the earth. It's a very supportive way to lay on the, ba on the back. So sometimes even after a busy full day or week, I'll just come to my back, knees bent without the block. And then if you're on the block, press into the feet enough to lift the hips, lower the hips all the way down. Draw the knees into the chest, rock from side to side. And then lower the soles of the feet on the mat nice and wide. And then what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you keep the heels on the mat and toe out slightly. Now, extend the arms out to a T and allow the knees to drop over to the right. So with that, press now into the arch of the left foot. Feel that opening across that left hip. If you'd like, you can even place the right heel on the left thigh, keeping that whole left leg active and engaged. Feel that release in that hip. And then release the right foot down. If it's lifted, come back through center. Note the position of the feet. The heels are on the mat. The toes are slightly off. And then allow the knees to drop over to the left. Pressing into the arch side of that right foot. Feeling that right glute and that right hip lift up slightly off the earth. Feel the engagement of that whole right hip and side body. There's a nice strengthening and lengthening happening concurrently here. If you like, place the left heel on the right thigh only if that feels comfortable. Noticing the difference between sensation and pain, staying away from the sensation of pain, being aware of the sensations. Another moment here, feeling that in the side of the waist, sending the breath into that area. And then exhale, release that left foot down, bring the knees back up to center. Once again, knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. 
And then from here, setting yourself up for Shavasana. If Shavasana is not something you practice regularly, you can always come to a seated meditation. It's your choice. For Shavasana, allow the ankles to be wide. Feel the feet roll out. Tuck the chin slightly. Roll the shoulders. Allow the palms to rest next to the body, facing up, but slightly away from the body. You can prop yourself in any way that feels supportive. Maybe there's an eye pillow. Maybe there's a bolster or blanket beneath your knees. Draw a nice deep in-breath. At the top of the in-breath, pause and hold for five, four, three, two. Open the mouth, release. Feel the heaviness of the head. Feel the heaviness of the shoulders. Feel the heaviness of the hips, the legs, and the heels on the earth. Allowing yourself to be supported. Giving in to surrender. Letting it all go. Slowly begin to deepen your breath, bringing awareness back to the physical body. Making small movements with your fingers and your toes, your arms, your legs. Drawing your knees into your chest. And rolling over to one side. Pausing here before bringing yourself to a comfortable seat. Bring your palms to heart center. Taking a moment here to honor the intention that you set for your practice. And to thank yourself for coming to your mat today, for taking good care, and to aligning with your whole self. Thank you so much for coming. Namaste.